Here beginneth the seventh verse of the fourth chapter of the first epistle general of St. Peter. The end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality to one another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Here beginneth the twenty-sixth verse of the fifteenth chapter of the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Jesus said, When the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. 
and ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told ye of them. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. God, the King of glory, who hast exalted thine only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph unto thy kingdom in heaven, we beseech thee, leave us not comfortless, but send to us thine Holy Ghost to comfort us, and exalt us unto the same place whither our Savior Christ is gone before, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Uh...